What is up then guys, hope you're doing well, welcome back to the channel. We are safe, we are sound and we have our seats with us. If you haven't watched the last video, I highly recommend you go back and watch that because then what I'm about to say next is going to make a lot more sense here and then we'll do the reveal for the chairs. So yeah, story time. So the reason that the CRB for broke down, as I showed in the video, was that the fan bolt got absolutely obliterated and it was wrapped around the pulleys. So obviously at that time of the day, it was about six o'clock, so all of the garages were shut down. But luckily on the CRB for the fan bolt only controls the AC and the alternator. And the reason that we broke down was because obviously the belt um, charges the alternator for the battery. The car was running with no alternator, so the battery of the car just drained. And yeah, that's where all the flashing lights came on and it was telling me to pull it over. But luckily, when the AA come, all he had to do is put a brand new battery on the car. And he followed me for about 80 miles just to make sure that I got to, I think, Stetchford services. And then he put another battery on my car as well, just so we can carry on the rest of the journey. The only downside was it was starting to get dark. He told me not to use my lights. It was raining. He told me not to use my window wipers. So I had to wait until my window was like full up of water and then just do one massive sweep and then turn it off. And um, I hardly indicated, so I felt like a proper BMW driver. But yeah, we got home safe. So shout out to Kyle, the guy who dropped off the seats to me whilst I was broken down. Like I generally wouldn't have him here now because if he didn't drop them off, which is, which is quite sick. Um, a shout out to that AA guy, he was telling me that he's running a, I think it's a Mark III Fiesta, and he's got a K20 in it, which, so I'll have to try and research that build and have a look at it, because that sounds absolutely sick. So yeah, shall we show you the seats? Ooh. And here we have our seats. So these are Corbo Sprints. I think these are from like 2014 and 2016. They are FIA checked but they're out of date now obviously but we're not going to be using them for competition so it is mainly street um, and lot track work so i don't think their fia regulations are going to really mess up much but yeah this is probably not going to do much just this so i'll try and get it out in a bit but yeah absolutely sick um i weighed these both in and they weigh 8.25 kilograms i think the newer models they weigh seven kilograms but i know that they come in um, a carbon fiber and a carbon kevlar version but um these are full fiberglass on the back. There you go. And there we go, We've got all the FIA sticker and everything on there. So if you want to know what they are, competition seats, um, ridiculously light, like that's a little finger, ready? Get the pinky on there, well, absolutely nothing. Um, and one of the best things about these seats is that um, not only can we run a four point harness like we have been usually, but it also gives us the option to run a five point straight down there. So um, I did put on my Instagram to see if anybody's actually selling any five points, but I think I might just take the plunge and just get something that I actually like rather than get something second hand. But yeah, that's the seat. That's the reason we broke down for. That was, it was worth the journey. And yeah, these are gonna be, these are gonna do, do us wonders. All right then, so there's two things that we're gonna need before we get started. One of them is this. Um, I have to make the other one myself, but I think you probably guess what this is. Okay then, so these are two pairs of seat rails, uh, one for the driver, one for the passenger. Um, they're from JJC Race and Rally. I think you pay about 50 something pound for these for a pair which I think is absolutely amazing and I used to run these on an old spark with mine but yeah these are going to do the job nicely they, sh they are universal so they should fit to whatever seat you want them on but if not I think it's only like two or three mil steel so you just drill out the holes that you want and I'm pretty sure that it's meant to come with all of the hardware that you're going to need to bolt it to the chair as well So yeah, there's the bolts for it to go onto the side of the chair. It comes with washers as well. I have got hardware on the side of my chair as well already, but these look a little bit more cleaner and should give us a bit more of a, a fresh look. So yeah, let's get these on the seat. Okay then guys, so to get the rails on the car, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You can see a hole there and there's a hole there. If you want to be sitting higher up in your seat, you have it on the higher holes there, like that. If you want to be sitting lower down, you put it on the lower hole there and the lower hole there. If you want to be sitting forward, you have a high hole on the front and a lower hole on the back, or no, the other way around, sorry. So a low hole on the front and a higher hole on the back. That'll make you sit forward. And if you want to be sitting back, have a, a smaller hole on the front and yeah, 
I'm just I'm waffling. It's it's common sense. If you if you can't really do this, then I'd highly recommend paying someone else to do your car. Pretty simple. It's two screws go straight in. Um, it's not the end of the world if you can't get the fitment right away. Um, I just want to get a test fit to see if they fit on the rails that I've got in there already because I made them myself. So I might have to make a bit of an adjustment. But yeah, I'm gonna get this on. We'll get the old Sparco out and let's just go with the flow. See how we go. go let's get the old seats out and let's test fit these all right then guys so here we have the sparko it's out of the car so it's still on its mounts as well and you have the corbo i think i'm saying that right but i'm not gonna lie this sparko is like the comfiest seat i've ever sat in in my life um but yeah i think i'm gonna use this for a bit of a driving simulator in my room give me something to do but um yeah gonna get this off the mount and it, in my, one of my last videos i said that it's currently mounted on with cable ties because i couldn't be able to put the bolts back in yeah, I wasn't lying, so it's gonna take me about 10 seconds to get off. Let's go. All right then guys, so we're back, and something's happened that never normally happens to me. Something I've made has worked first time with something else. This is a very proud moment. This is the seat mounts that I made originally for the Sparko. They're a bit rough at the moment. Um, I tried to repaint them with a rattle can in the rain. Yep, that doesn't work. But as you can see, everything's not tightened down completely yet, because obviously I still might need to move it forward and backwards. But uh, these mounts, work with these seats like mind blown so yeah um this is like saved me so much time like i thought i was gonna have to like fabricate it with some new mounts and everything like that right now but just for the test fit of getting these seats in we're gonna be able to do it let's go yeah boy Right then guys, so the steering wheel's in. Got a good bit of clearance between the steering wheel and my knees. Um, yeah, I think that will do for driving. Uh, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the incline of the chair so I am lying back a little bit because I think that'll make it a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, other than that, I think we've done a very good job at this and I think I've chosen some really good seats because these are so comfortable. Like, like it's not even bought me down properly yet and these are proper snug. So yeah, happy days. Gonna reduce the incline, have another test fit and Get the rest seats in as well, because I think this one's feeling a little bit lonely. All right then guys, so we're back in the car. Um, everything's all set out. I put the chair back a bit of an angle, just so it gives me a bit more leg room and it's a lot more comfortable, because last time I was sitting on top of the dash and I could see my bonnet, which is quite weird for me. I've never been in that position, but I like being sat, um, sat quite low. Uh, it's a lot more comfortable for me. Um, joys of being a lanky bugger. But yeah, also got the harnesses in. Um, need to do some adjustments in the rear. Um, the coronavirus lockdown has done me dirty and I've become a fatty boy, so yeah. I need to do mark our weight reduction soon. But yeah, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, the harnesses are good. If you, anybody's selling a four or five point harness, give me a shout, prefer, preferably OMP. Um, but if you've got anything else, as long as it's black, um, yeah, um, I'll probably buy it off you. So yeah, these are sick. Uh, need to make a new rail for this seat in here. It's gonna be very easy. Um, what I'm gonna do is there's two holes there, two holes there. I'm gonna cut those holes in there, bolt them down, and then we'll do another cross member that way. That lined up with the seat mount there. Wild that on top of the other one. Drill the holes in for the, the seat mounts. And yeah, that's probably your uncle. That's literally what this is, but this is on like a bit more of a extreme version, which I don't really need it because it's just the passenger and the passenger doesn't really matter. So yeah. I think I'm gonna put my zoom in. I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, rain in, need to get my car covered back up because the fiberglass isn't painted or anything yet. But um, if you want to support the channel, I've got some kit and jet tags and um, stickers um, links down in the description. All the money that um, is funded from these goes exactly straight back into the build. So really appreciate it. if you want to support the channel. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, the view and a like would do very good. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it in the video. If I have you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.